it's me, Sharon, and welcome back to my channel. As we move with lightning speed towards the end of 2017, thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing. Today on Creative Glam, I'm going to share with you an easy after the holidays winter wreath and a simple vase idea. Let's get started. Okay, this winter wreath is going to be in the pine cones and candle theme that I've been using throughout the holidays. It's going to be a simple wreath, yet it's gonna be elegant. You can use it on any door of your home. So the first thing I'm gonna do is uh, take off the tag. Most of these uh, items I got from Michaels. The easy vase portion came from Joann Fabrics but the greenery and the wreath form itself came from Michaels. It said $19.99, it was on sale. It was $19.99, but it was on sale for 60% off or 70% off. So I paid next to nothing for it, which is really cool. So my timing was on, on this. So again, I'm gonna start here with a white round uh, wreath form. And I'm gonna do a simple but elegant uh, after the holidays, something to dress your door with. It's going to be flocked and green, pine cones and candles. I'm going to keep it in that theme. Let's get started. All right, I'm trying to decide which ones I want to place down first. And where's the top and where's the bottom? Once I determine what's the top and what's the bottom, it's a little easier for me to stay focused as to what I'm supposed to be doing here. So I'm going to take this and use this twist tie I don't even know if you can see that. I'm gonna use it as my guide. Oh, you can't see it, but that's okay. That tells me it's the first, it's the top. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm only going to fill in one side. This portion over here is the only side of the wreath that I'm going to decorate, and the rest of the wreath will be left open, okay? I don't know if I should stack it like that or if I should do it opposites. I don't know if I should do it like that, which I think I like better. It gives me more fullness, but I'm not necessarily looking for an abundance of fullness as much as I'm looking for the right amount of coverage because I'm going to take and put one of those or two of those in the center. Hmm. Now some of these I'm gonna use wire to attach and some of these I'm gonna use, if necessary, I'll use the hot glue gun. I'm hoping not to have to use the hot glue gun, but I think that's it right there. That looks like my base. That looks like a good jumping off point right here. So I'm gonna attach this part down to my base. Perfect, I think. Okay, there it is, all done. This wreath was super simple. It took me all of 10 minutes to put this wreath together. Once I got all my supplies out and laid, uh, once I got all my supplies laid out, 
It took about 10 minutes. And most of that time was just tying my floral wire around the greenery. It's a beautiful wreath and it can take you through to spring. And it's something to hang on the door after you take your Christmas decor down. Just as I did last year with the burlap wreath. This is your flocked pine cones and candles with a sprinkle of berries. Since that's the theme that I'm going with this year. Super simple and super cute. This is my easy base idea. I got these two jars from Joy and Fabrics. They were $9.99 each. And then I had a coupon for 50% off. So I paid $5 each for these. Michaels had some like this, but they had them sort of decorated. I don't necessarily have to take this off. They had them decorated and they wanted to charge like $12.99 and they were not on sale. You know what, I'm not gonna worry about that part. So I just wiped them off to get some of the fingerprints off. Now, this is so simple. The thing I like about this idea, not only is it easy and inexpensive, it's versatile. I got some glitter paper from the craft store. Um, I got black, I got gold, I have silver. I have a, a, a box of glitter paper that I can use that coordinates with any given room, any given season that allows me to, you know, change it up and be really creative. I'm gonna use black today, but your options are endless. You're gonna see this project and you're gonna say, oh my gosh, this is so easy. You take the paper, roll the paper, slide it in the cylinder, and push it down. And like that, it goes from I'm gonna use two. It goes from being a cylinder to being a base. Take the other, roll it again. It's something to look at. Very sparkly. Isn't that cute? That is so cute. I'll zoom in and let you see the, the effects in a minute. And then you add your greener. Now, as the season changes, um, the paper will change. Uh, when, the, when, the, when the vases go into a different room, again, the paper will change. You can also use these to put live flowers in. You just take and get a, a smaller, the next size down, well, two sizes down. Get a cylinder, two sizes smaller than these particular cylinders. You can then fill those with water and add your live flowers to it so it doesn't hurt the paper, but yet you still get that same effect. It's super simple, super easy, and it still packs a lot of punch. It gives you a lot to, uh, your eye to go to. winter wreath and my vase idea. Again, 2017 has just about all but come to an end. Um, I thank you all for subscribing and watching and hopefully enjoying the videos that I post on my channel. I appreciate it and I appreciate you. This is the last video that I'll be posting in 2017, but I'll see you in 2018. Thanks for watching. Have a blessed day and I'll see you next year. Bye. for tuning in for all of set I want to thank you all for tuning in and subscribing for all of 2017 and on that note have a blessed day and we'll see you next year bye blessed day and I'll see you next year oh don't do that don't be gangster you should put include some of those bloopers I think it'll be funny <laughs> I want to thank you all for tuning in. Have a blessed day.
and I'll see you next year. I thought I was supposed to oh, say that. Oh, okay. I want to thank you all so very much for tuning in and subscribing for all of 2017. And I'll see you next year. And on that note, have a blessed day. <laughs> and I'll see you next year. I want to thank you all for tuning in and subs- mm. I want to thank you all for tuning in and subscribing all of 2017. And on that note, have a blessed day. And I'll see you next year. We. We. We'll see you next year. <laughs> I want to thank you all so very much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed. I want to thank you all so very- We, Major and I want to thank you so very much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed.